So it is my honor to bring to you the comedy stylings of Jackie Martley. Rebellion Stokowski are all going for the same job, and the guy that's interviewing him has got no ears. Well, Flanagan goes in first. The guy says, my friend, the job you're applying for requires the powers of observation. Make an observation about me. Well, Flanagan says, how oh, much you've got no ears? He says, get out! Ravelli goes in. He says, my friend, the job you're applying for requires the powers of observation. Make an observation about me. He says, how ah, that's easy, boss. you got no ears. He says, get out! Belly goes out in the lobby, says to Stokowski, hey, listen, the guy doing the interview has got no ears, a little bit sensitive about her. Whatever you do, don't bring it up. Stokowski's like, die. Guys, <laughs> my friend, the job you're applying for requires the powers of observation. Make an observation about me. Stokowski says, you wear contacts. It's terrific observation. You're absolutely right. How could you tell us? How could you wear glasses? You got no fucking ears. <laughs> She gets out of the shower, sits on the toilet, and gets stuck. He calls the plumber, and he realizes she's sitting there naked. He can't have that, so he takes his bowler derby and puts it on her lap to cover her bone base, okay? The plumber shows up and takes a look. He says, well, pal, I think I can save your wife, but the guy in the hat's a goner. An airplane's taking off, he looks across the aisle. There's a lady breastfeeding her baby. A couple hours later, they come in for a landing, she's breastfeeding the kid again. He says, excuse me, ma'am, I couldn't help but notice you were breastfeeding your baby on takeoff, and now you're breastfeeding him on landing. Is there a reason? She says, yes. I breastfeed my baby on takeoff and landing so his ears won't pop. <laughs> the guy says, fuck, in all these years I've been chewing gum. <laughs> guy knocks on the door. FedEx guy knocks on the door. Door opens a little kid. He's naked except for his underpants. He's smoking a joint. In the other hand, he's got a half full bottle of Jack Daniels. The FedEx guy says, kid, is your mother home? He says, what do you think? <laughs> guy's sitting all alone on a Sunday morning. He's a knock on the door. He is. The guy's sitting there says, hello? I'm a Jehovah's Witness, and I have stories to tell you. The guy says, well, come on in. Brings him in, sits in the living room. Let me get you a cup of coffee. Gets a cup of coffee. He's a Jehovah's Witness. He says, now, what are these stories you had to tell me? Jehovah's Witness says, how the fuck should I know? I never got this far before. <laughs> job interview. The guy goes to a job interview. The interviewer says, what do you think is your biggest fault? The guy says, I think my biggest fault is my honesty. The interviewer says, I don't think honesty is a fault. The guy says, I don't give a fuck what you think. <laughs> the guy goes walking up to the doctor's office. A nun comes running out. Ah! He says, doc, what's with the nun? He says, I just told her she's pregnant. So the nun's pregnant? He says, no, but it sure cured her hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> so why do Jewish guys watch porn movies backwards? They like the part where the hooker gives the money back. <laughs> Chinese couple. Chinese couple's in bed. The husband says, I want a 69. His wife says, why do you want beef and broccoli now? <laughs> Fuck you, that's a beauty, man. <laughs> you guys are great. I don't like him.
Don't get me laughing, we'll be here all night. <laughs> Polish family sitting in the living room. The wife turns to her husband and says, let's send the kids out back to P-L-A-Y so we can fuck. <laughs> How the fuck could you not laugh at that? <laughs> Two flies land on a piece of shit. I've been telling jokes for 40 years. That is the single best introduction to a dirty joke. <laughs> Two flies land on a piece of shit. How can you go wrong? Let's watch. Two flies land on a piece of shit. The first one lifts his leg and pfft. The second one says, come on, man, I'm trying to eat. <laughs> the guy says to a girl, give me a blowjob. She says, be more romantic. He says, give me a blowjob in the rain. <laughs> oh, we haven't fun or what? Little old lady walks in a sex shop. She says, where are all the dildos? She says, they're on the wall, lady. She says, I'll take a red one. She says, no, lady. The dildos are on the wall next to the fire extinguisher. <laughs> the intercom. Not yet. <laughs> Pilot comes in the intercom. Thank you for flying West Eastern. We expect to touch down in Los Angeles in approximately six hours. And we appreciate your business. He forgets to turn off the intercom. He turns to co-pilot. He says, you know what? I think I'm going to go take a shit and then get a blowjob from that hot new blonde stewardess. She's in the back of the plane, realizes the intercom's still on. She goes running up the aisle. A little old lady said, take your time, honey. He said he was going to take a shit first. <laughs> a couple goes to a marriage counselor. Couple goes to marriage counselor. The marriage counselor says, I think we should begin with something you have in common. The husband says, neither of us likes to suck cock. <laughs> that joke is worth the price of admission. <laughs> Pittsburgh. As soon as the guy behind him says, I can't believe I said that. What an idiot I am. And the guy says, relax. You said the wrong thing by accident. It's called a Freudian slip. It happens. You know what happened to me just the other day? Yeah. I was sitting at the breakfast table with my wife, and I meant to say, please pass the salt. And by accident, I said, you fucking cunt, you wrecked my life. <laughs> you guys are fantastic. Congratulations! Thank you.